the things I wanted to acknowledge, first of all, is that we are um, many people of different faiths gathered in this room, drinking from many wells, but from one stream. We are people of different spiritual traditions who realize and know that every culture and people bear witness to the attributes of God. And we are people who acknowledge that we are spiritual beings having a human experience. When you walk through a storm, hold your head up high and don't be afraid of the dark at the end of the storm is a golden sky and the sweet silver song of a receiving this, this very kind invitation to take part in this circle, I first had to think about what prayer. That put me to a place of thinking, well, the problem with the word prayer is the word prayer itself, at least from the Hebrew tradition, because prayer means to, to beg. It's this way, but in Hebrew the word is tefillah, which means to introspect, to go this way. So I'm going to teach you, four, I think, four very simple Hebrew words. And some of them will sound familiar because El, Ha'el, as in Michael, Gabriel, Daniel, all the Els, just means Ha'el, the one who is not me. That's, a, that's what El means. It, means. it means not me. Ha'el. Kind of think of this as, as the, uh, there's an airline, El Al. <laughs> which really means up and away, <laughs> or Allah, with that which is not me, or at least not solely me. So just say, El, El. 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 Was good. Na, Na. Na. Refu'ah, Refu La, La. La. Elna, El Na. Na. Refu'ah, Refu La. 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 In the name of God, the Most High, all praise is due to God, the Merciful, the Beneficent. Praises are due to God. We pray for thy blessings. Guide us on the right path. The path of those upon whom thou hast bestowed favors, and not of those whose portion is right. Amen. Thank you. Prophet Baha'u'llah, who is the revealer of our faith, uh, came from a Muslim tradition. And so the Baha'i faith comes out 
of Islam in a similar way that the Christian the Christianity has come out of Judaism, and in fact, Baha'is believe that they all came out of each other, and that it's a constant um, revelation that God gives us over time. God's purpose is none other than to usher in, in ways he alone can bring about. Just know that there's one power, one presence, moving in and through each and every one of us. That same power is manifesting in me and in you. And it doesn't matter what race we are, what religion we are. We are all children of God. And we stand on that truth. In the book it says, in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In the beginning were the principles. And the principles were with God, and the principles were God the principles of love, the principles of faith, the principles of truth. We stand on those principles today. O Lord, thou hast searched me and know me. Thou knowest my down-sitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my far afar off. Thou compass my path and my lying down, and are acquainted with all of my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but, O oh Lord, thou knowest it altogether. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid thy hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is too high. I cannot attain to it. Whether shall I go from thy spirit, or whether shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. Myth. In order to be loving, I must embrace, embrace everything that comes my way open arms. Magic is that at times the most loving thing I can do is say no and move out of the way. That statement holds yet another valuable lesson for us. It shows us that love is not wishy-washy or passive. Even when we're drawing the line and putting an end to an unhealthy situation, we can do it in a way that is frank and firm as well as loving and considerate. How do we do something? How we do something is as important as what we do. The Buddha didn't take the bait and accuse his attacker of being a horrible person, but he did make it clear that he would not accept abuse. Because he refused to accept the man's criticism or take his words personally, the insults didn't stick. Because he refused to accept the man's criticism, or take his words personally, the insult didn't stick. By delivering his message with honesty and love, the Buddha, in effect, stepped out of the way and held up a mirror so the man could see for himself the truth that his abusive behavior would not hurt his target, but in the end would only harm himself. Honoring ourselves and others in a way that gives us tremendous power because what we say comes not from the defensive ego, but from the heart filled with love and goodwill. As the Buddha put it, 
If a man foolishly does me wrong, I will return to him the protection of my ungrudging love. Honesty delivered with love is a gift. By honesty, by honestly and lovingly drawing the line, by choosing not to accept someone's harmful behavior, we honor ourselves and we uphold the best and the highest in that person. Shakespeare's familiar lines were never more germane. This, above all, to thine own self be true. And it must follow as the night, the day.